Thanksgiving. We start the day before. Set up a brine over here. Put some vegetable broth, some apple juice. Mix it up with some um, with, with some seasoning, some savory, some thyme, some um, uh, rosemary, uh, some sage, some poultry mix. Put it all in there. Put some bay leaves. Put a little lemon in there. We're gonna put that into the brine bag, and we're gonna put the turkey in there. We're gonna mix that up. We're gonna let that sit overnight, and we're gonna hit that tomorrow again. You're gonna now we're making pecan pie. We're making this the night before. So what we're doing here, we creamed some sugar, some eggs with the butter. What you have to do is you have to make sure that you leave the butter and the eggs out for about eight hours. You want to make sure that it gets softened and it's at room temperature, and you want to put the butter in, mix that. Add the, um, the sugar, I use brown sugar, and then three eggs, one egg at a time. Eggs, same thing, room temperature, leave them out for 10 hours. Then we're gonna add some vanilla, some caro syrup, um, a pinch of salt, I might add a little pumpkin um, spice in there just to make it a little bit different. And we're gonna add the pecans in there. We got the shell, back show where the shell is. The chelster helped me out over here a little bit. And by pinching it and making it nice and pretty, we're gonna put that mix in there. Come back. Pecan pie, we put in the mixture with some pecans, then when we finished, put some more um, pecans over. It's Thanksgiving day, shit's getting real. I had to bring out the apron. First thing we're gonna do, cranberry sauce for the turkey. Yeah, I know that's a topping, it's easy, but we wanna let it sit and cool at room temperature. Easy stuff, just like a good warm up to get going. Real simple, cup of sugar, cup of orange juice. We're gonna dissolve it, heat it up, and we're gonna then put these cranberries in there for about 10 minutes. It's been about 10 minutes, take a look, what do you think? How that look? Put that in here, and we will let this cool. By the time the turkey's ready, it should be good enough. The fact that I'm resorting to filming myself goes to show that everybody's abandoned me. But you know, whatever, it is what it is. We're gonna start working on the stuffing. Just, you know, we're gonna cut up some um, bread to make the, um, what's that called? The things you put in the side, the croutons. And, um, and then we'll, we'll get going. All right, so um, we got sausage, onions, and mushrooms in this one for the stuffing. And over here, I got a separate one going on for the vegetarian stuffing. And I'm basically replacing um, mushrooms for sausage. Hey, um, so we're get working on stuffing here. This is, um, <laughs> we're almost done. Um, what's this kid laughing about? Right there. Anyway, listen, so we put some, um, after we put the concoction in with some toasted bread, the croutons, the concoction of sausage and onions and some mushrooms, and mushrooms for the vegetarian one. And then um, we put um, a golden delicious apple. And um, in each one of them, we put some celery that we had cooked a little bit. And um, obviously rosemary, sage, rosemary, sage, thyme, a um, little savory, and um, some cranberries, raisins, Golden raisins, regular raisins, cranberries, and some almonds to give it a little crunch. So we're going to put that in there and uh, not put it in the um, question. Oh, question. Put it, is it, excuse me, I'm not taking questions from the audience just yet. Um, <laughs> um, we're going to put it in the oven at 350 for I'm not sure how long, 25 minutes, 30, 35. I'll take a look at it now. Yes, sir, you had a question. I now have the beer. I now have two. Um, why the two different types of raisins? Why? A little bit. It adds on a little color and a little bit of fine flavor. I don't know, I got some inspiration from my cousin who used to make it and he would do it and um, he no longer does it. So I, I'm carrying that um, tradition. Follow-up question. Yes, sir. I guess it's not a follow-up question. It's a completely separate question. It's not but right. how do you not know how long you're putting it in for? Not I do know it's just in the recipe and I need to look and cheat. So hold on a second, I'll tell you right now. Wait, wait. oh, Becca's got my phone, I can't tell you. So I do know. We'll come back to that part and I'll tell you how long I put it in there for. No. All right, so here, here we go. That's the um, regular one here. Here's the vegetarian one. We're gonna put it in the oven at 350 for about um, 35 minutes and then we're gonna have it covered up for the first 20. All right, so here's the turkey in the brine. So the reason you put it in, in the sink is so it doesn't spill everywhere. That's happened to me once or twice. All right, let's get it out of there. All right, you want to um, 
you want to rinse the excess brine out of the bird. Stick your hand in there, pretend it's your first girlfriend or something. Just get in there nice and deep. All right, we're gonna get rid of this stuff. I'm gonna pat it dry and then we're gonna start the seasoning. Okay. Now, oh, well, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some champagne over it. Why? I have no idea. All right, so I'm stuffing the bird. I put some champagne, I rubbed it with some butter, like, um, like I used to do with so, Anyway, I put some onion and celery, onion, celery um, carrots, and I'm gonna put some orange and some, um, the apples and some orange wedges in there. All right, last thing I did here was some Brussels sprouts. I'm getting a little help, just so you see. But we, we got some Brussels sprouts, cut them in half. We put some salt, pepper, oil, um, a little garlic powder, a little onion powder, and then I put some honey in there and um, toss them up and cut them in half. We're gonna end up putting them on that tray right there. Um, 450 for 35 degrees. I'm gonna go.